Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cancerian. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Cancerian. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It truly is an honor to have you evolving here with me. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you out here and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And welcome, Count Siren, to the ones that are new here. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time being here. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I do go live on this platform as well for all 12 zodiac signs and love live stream questions, all right? So no further ado, Count Siren, let's go ahead and dive into your love life, all right? Let's see who is in your energy here today, Count Siren, and why. What do we have for Count Syrian placements? Let's see who is in your love life here and why. The reading here today are general Count Syrian. If you would love to book a personal reading, my email details are down below as well in the description box, Count Syrian. All right. So no further ado, let's dive in. Let's see who is around you, who is in your energy, and how do they feel about you? What do we have for Count Syrian placements, please? And thank you. What's going on in Count Syrian's love life? What do we have for Count Syrian? The Four of Pentacles. Oh my, right off the back, you're rejecting somebody here, Count Syrian. At least you're not putting too much time or effort into this relationship, commitment, or connection here that you're having right now. This could be with an earth sign here. This could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Some of you all may feel like this person here is not putting in as much time or effort into the connection here or relationship. So you all have may decide to distance yourself or disconnect yourself from this person here, Count Syrian. Let's see why. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Let's see why do we have the Four of Pentacles here crowning your reading today. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles here, please? Why do we have the Four of Pentacles here for Count Syrian? Wow, the Knight of Swords. Okay. So it makes sense of why you're rejecting someone. Someone could be showing up or popping up around you unexpectedly. Some of y'all may get an unexpected visit from this person or an unexpected phone call or text message from this person here. This could also be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, all right? Someone definitely coming in in a moody energy here, okay? Let's see why is this coming, come, excuse me. Let's see why is this person coming towards you? Thank you. Wow, we have the King of Wands. This could be a Leo here that's coming towards you. Someone definitely wants to take action here towards you. And then we have the Ten of Wands. But you've already put an end to this connection with this person. You're no longer motivated. You're no longer inspired by this person. Damn, they're no longer attracted to this person here for some of you all, Count Siren. And because of that, they just watch you. They do a lot of work watching, excuse me. They do a lot of observing you. Okay, with the Page of Swords there, this person definitely does a lot of watching you. This here could be also an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. All right, we also got Leo energy here as well as Sagittarius and Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy here. Why is this person watching and observing Cancer in the way that they are? Well, I get it because you cut them off. You haven't communicated as much to this person here anymore. So they do definitely try to keep tabs to see what you're doing. I'm also getting to see who else is getting your attention here. Well, damn. Makes sense coming from a King of Wands. This King of Wands likes for you to 
give them all the attention or give them your undivided attention. But because you have held back your energy, because you haven't put too much thought, effort, or time into the connection here, someone is feeling some type of way about that. They don't like that count, Syrian. Again, this could be a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy here. Someone got feelings for you. Clarify the lovers and the page of swords. Again, this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius here that got feelings for you here. The Seven of Cups. You realize that this love was not love or that it was not real. Gemini, you were with someone who kind of tried to make things seem like they were real, but it wasn't. Their energy wasn't matching up to what they said they were going to do or who they were. And I feel like some of you all found this out about this person here. Wow. So let's go ahead and get the Raw Tarot Index Cards here, Counselor. And let's see what this person wants to say on behalf of everything that has been presented here and channeled out here. Let's see what does this person have to say amongst all of this here. What, let's see what state of mind that this person is in right now. How does this person here feel towards Count Syrian, please? How does this person feel? Oh, we got I love you, which makes sense of why we have the lover's card coming out here. Okay, so this is someone that definitely still has feelings towards you. Oh, my. Wow, we got you make me weak. So what I was picking up here when I seen that card or the energy from the card, however, is that someone does a lot of pretending. They pretend like they're this. They pretend like they that. But behind closed doors, they were a big ass baby. And they get very weak behind you when you're not giving them that undivided attention. So the tension that this person seeks from you is one, maybe to boost this person's ego or their self-esteem here. But it's like the way that this person feels about you is very difficult for this person to let you go. This is someone that feeds off of other people's attention. And when they're not getting that, then they you know do things that they obviously regret later and someone has realized that through this experience, they've been able to love you even more because of what maybe has happened or transpired between you two. Wow. Yeah, we got all I think about is you. So this person does a lot of thinking about you. As I mentioned, they do a lot of watching you, a lot of observing you. Okay. Yeah, look at that. I will never go back again. So some of y'all, this could have been involved in a third party. Uh, some of y'all, this person could have lied to you and was not honest about them still being involved or married or in a long-term commitment here with someone here okay yeah look at that i don't care i want you so sounds like someone is not in the space of caring about what other people think caring about what has to happen to you okay they're definitely wanting to prove a point here to you count syrian that they will never go back again okay Wow, well, definitely good luck with this energy here, Counselor. And I definitely hope this help brought you some clarity, confirmation for yourself. So maybe what you were already intuitively picking up about this person or their energy here. Okay, definitely. If so, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you, Counselor, and a part of our soul family. And be sure to set your notification bells for when I do go live on this platform. All right. Thank you all so much, Counselor, and I wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.